Now we're gonna show you how to bind your receivers to your 7PX radio. Now that being said, there are four different styles of receivers available for your transmitter. Now let's start with the one that comes with the transmitter. It is SR mode. With this receiver, there's actually two different types in, within the one receiver. You have SR mode, and also you have telemetry. Uh, one note though is when you're in, in the SR mode, it does not transmit telemetry. So just keep in mind. So to link this, go to linkage, you go to receiver type. So like I said, you have two different modes with this one. You can go SR or telemetry. So we'll start off, we'll start off with telemetry. We'll go ahead and plug the battery in here. And then on this, you'll want to hit telemetry. You'll hit link. You have 20 seconds to link it. Once it links, it'll give you this message. You just hit close. You're ready to go. That's how simple it is to link that with your receiver. You're able to also turn telemetry on and off here as well. So now say if you want to run it in SR mode, uh, just hit SR receiver type. Once you do that, you'll have to relink the actual receiver to the transmitter. You'll hit link. You have 20 seconds again to link this. Once it links, it'll give you this message here. Go ahead and close out. With this mode, you're able to turn on and off super response mode in all the channel one through four. So if you don't want to run super response mode in channel two, you just leave it off. But if you want to run it in channel one, turn it on, you'll say yes. You go ahead and close it. And also this being said, you will have to have your servo, it has to be S-Bus servo by Fataba, and it has to be in SR mode as well. So kind of neat little feature with the SR uh, receiver that we have available for the 7PX. So let's go ahead and do a different receiver here. Let's go ahead and pick the R324 SBS receiver. It's a telemetry receiver. So we'll go back to telemetry. So the, the, the way you link telemetry receivers are all the same throughout the, the different variations of the receivers themselves. So you'll plug it in. You're gonna hit link. You have 20 seconds to link it. Once you're done, hit close. You're ready to go. That's how easy it is to link your telemetry receiver to the transmitter. So if you're running a fast receiver, which here we show the R614FFE, you'll hit the fast receiver icon. And then with this one, it, like I said, it links a little differently. So what you'll do, you'll plug the battery in to the receiver. Once it recognizes you're on the correct receiver type, the light will flash green. It'll let you know the receiver is ready to be linked to the transmitter. You hit the link button. There you go. It goes from a flashing green light to a solid green light to let you know the, the receiver is linked to the transmitter. So all the fast receivers link this way. So if you have a SFHSS receiver, which here we're gonna show the R203GF. We'll show you how to link that real quick. You wanna hit the the correct icon, which is the SFHSS icon. We'll go ahead and plug it in. This one here, you'll go, it won't be flashed or anything. What you'll do is you hit the button. Now once light turns green, you're linked and ready to go. So that's how you do the SFHS receivers. Now we're gonna show you if you wanna utilize all seven channels on the 7PX radio. We have the R2008SB receiver. Uh, this allow you to use winches, lights, uh, extra channel on the actual vehicle. Uh, so all you rock crawlers or scale guys out there that want to utilize seven channels, this is the receiver to have for you. Uh, so you actually use all seven channels. We'll show you how it links up real quick. It'll be SFHSS receiver. So you make sure you have it on the right icon. Plug it in. Hit the button. And there, 
it turns green. So just like the other SFHSS receivers, uh, you just push it until it turns green and it comes on and you're ready to link. So that's how easy it is to link your receivers to your transmitters with various different types of receivers.